wrote my first article in the form of a poem. I was looking at taking vengeance. And I didn't want to write it so openly in the form of an article. I'm I was trying to be a good boy. So I wrote an article to speak or not to speak. That's you. So it goes like this. Like just a poe they played, it was quiet and quick. Picked me up swiftly without noise or squeak. I quietly said plenty, yet uttered not a word. For destiny hath spoken, so my loins I did gird. Somebody tell me, tell me, but what was my crime? To be persecuted in my youth and glorious prime. Or that I spoke not but the necessary truth that the gods replied with such sadism and brute. They implied to shut up for I ain't got no rights. Or I'll be damned and tagged with many blights. But I tell you, freedom can't be shackled or furled. Cause truth is constant, neither warped nor curved. I desperately cried corruption, create loot and share. They thought in their wickedness I just wouldn't dare. I told Ghanaians to, to change both party and precedent, for they goofed in governance and set a bad precedent. It was said they sold the nation and took her wealth, denied her glory, prosperity, and appreciable health, talked infrastructure projects, neither here nor there, chickenry, inconsumable lies, really, not that they care. To rebut 170 challenges on NDC, we patiently wait. The stunned ignoramai have swallowed Baumia's bait. Eight years it took the vice president to earn his masters, explaining why he knows nothing and hangs out, hangs out with busters. One district, one stadium they promised. Have they soon forgotten? In 1996, it was history, we know, even if events were rotten. Nana Akufado said he'll do. Visionless NDC cannot think, because he's competent, astute, and with him will never shrink, never sink. I apologize, I never intend to be offensive or rude. Though I'll pen our status quo so backward and crude. Would that Mr. President could see though through the veil that shrouded his vision, because I hate to see him fail. But Your Excellency John Mahama and Koye Chasso. And that was how I got back to firing myself. This, this is the last of my political books for 2016, 2017, you know, where are we now? 2018. 2018, 2019. Now, subsequent to this, we are going to start releasing the Red Book, part one, part two, part three. And inshallah, by 2020 elections, we will have the Red Book, part four. It will be a compendium of parts one, two, three, and a final seal with the part four. So stay tuned.